Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays and the Twitch Blood Bowl League. This is the league where people who frequent Twitch or stream on Twitch have uh, gathered together to play a little bit of Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl 2 in fact. Um, our team has not been doing very well. I'm not really familiar with how to play Dark Elves or how to play in leagues, apparently. I'm not doing very well. But uh, at least we have a full team except for one guy. It's uh, Cray Gank that's going to be out for a game. And we have a level on our runner. Now, my next game that I'm going to play soon-ish, my opponent is uh, in a game right now, but that game is about to end. Um, I have a level up. My opponent is Orcs, and he has no skills apart from dodge on his runner, or thrower, and he has one guy who has strip ball. Now, it was suggested to me that I should get sure hands because it cancels strip ball, but I don't think he'd be, he'll be in a position where he will hit a runner very often. So I would much rather have something that would benefit us long term than just for our next game. Even though we have to be a little bit careful so we don't end up lost in the division. We did get a free win when one of our opponents was on vacation the week where we were supposed to play. But other than that it's been uh, blowouts and uh, not many good things happening at all. So, what do we want to get? We can get both general agility and passing. Seeing how we have dump off, it could be nice to get something like nerves of steel, making him ignore tackle zones but to pass. That means he always get a good chance to dump off. I was thinking about this, and I kind of like it. Another option, of course, is dodge and then get block. And then he would, we would uh, very likely not be having to use dump off because he'd be so tough to hit. But I'm gonna try nerves of steel. I've never used nerves of steel, and I kind of like it here. Although accurate could probably be good as well. Probably better. Hmm. This is a plus one, so if only one guy's only the guy hitting us, then this would do the same thing as this. But this will be more useful if we're trying to pass it otherwise. So uh, yeah, we probably want to start with accurate. Alright, well he could use sure hands as well, I guess, since he'd be picking the ball up often. But that doesn't save us that many rerolls, I would say. Since he has four agility already. Oh watch it be raining in the next game and we wish we had sure hands. Uh alright, well I guess I'm ready to play. I don't exactly know when my opponent will be available. But I will uh Pause the video until then. Actually, we could have a quick look at his team, I guess. These are, these are the Black Moon Marauders. He has got four Black Orcs, no troll. I actually mean he has a troll. Four, four Black Orcs, no levels on them. And the Blitzers, he's picked up a Strip Ball, as mentioned. And then some Linemen and a Thrower that has got Dodge on a double. He also has two rerolls, Apothecary, and uh, looks like he lost against the Lizard that we lost against. He beat another Lizard team, and then he lost against the Rats that we also lost against. So he's lost against the same two guys we have. Can't fault him for that then. Right, well, that's the orcs we're going to be playing against. Terence Hill is our opponent's coach. 
and uh, we are going to play with one one uh, lineman replacement. They cost 70k, right? Yes, so our team value will be 1070, meaning we will get 120 petty cash. We have some cash available to us, not enough to buy anything, but we could get a wizard with that if we spend some of our own cash. Or we could get a bribe, or we could get a free reroll, or an extra reroll. So we'd have three. That could be useful. Seeing how we don't have much dodge, or any dodge, at, and he will be basing us a lot. Maybe I'll go for the reroll and save our money to buy maybe a witch. Hmm, yeah, that seems like a good idea. I think I'm go f I'll go for the extra reroll. I don't usually do that, but when we only have two and we have uh, this many players, an orc will likely be trying to stand next to us all times and that means we we're gonna have to dodge lots of them and one more reroll will probably serve as well then especially if we want to do any passes with this guy on top of that should probably have gotten pass now that I think about it too late now though maybe next time all right well that's it for the pre-match tactic analysis uh, I will uh, pause the video and wait for my opponent to be done with his game and then I will restart the recording. And I'm back and it looks like, yes, our opponent has finished and he's ready to play. So, pretty cash, what did I say I was going to get? I was going to get the extra team training this time. And uh, let's go with that. Keep our money in case we want to buy something after the game. Like a replacement player or even a witch, maybe if we can get a ton of money. Alright, here we are. We're on his, uh, his stadium. And uh, I don't need to say hello. I've been talking to this guy, so I'm just gonna say. Have a fun game. There we are. So. It's going to be his choice, and he's going to start on defense. Alright. I see more people choosing defense. I can never get it to work. He has a troll, no goblins. You don't have to worry about the one-turner then. But we probably want to score as late as possible, if we can do it. It's kind of tough to get uh, against orcs. It's tough to hold out the entire half without having them threaten your ball carrier. He'll go back, back there. We will put our... Our hitters up. We could try to get a hit on one of the black orcs, but it's gonna be tough times. I think I'll put the loner in there and just not take the hits. It's not worth it really. We might blitz somebody though, so maybe we will use our power to blitz this guy. No, he needs to be on the line. Um, we can have two assists and then hit him from a third 
here and perhaps get back. So let's bring this blitzer up a bit. Right. One guy could be back here assisting the thrower. And then we want to get through. We blitz the black or we can't really get through. Maybe if we blitz this blitzer instead we can get a guy through on that side. But I can't get a guy through on the other side. Well, let's see what happens. Extra rerolls. Well, am I, am I not glad I bought that extra reroll now? Now we have four. A little bit more than I expected. Uh, I hit him. It's a knockdown, then I can continue and go through. So let's try that. First though, let's secure the ball here. Completely. Nope. Do we want to use our next extra reroll for this? Okay, sure. I don't think there will be much contact. Oh, it didn't help us much. So I guess we try to dodge away and say, okay, well that's not a great start for the game, I'd say. We rolled a sequence of uh, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2. That's not going to give you much, much uh, success. But we tried. Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled. And again, I uh, we would have made the dodge then, if you think the die. That's how the random dice work. So he's gonna use the blitz for someone who could have hit without blitzing. It means he gets one less hit in than he could have otherwise gotten. Not too much of a concern, I guess. You don't want to uh, over extend yourself. I think he's gonna move someone up to here maybe to cancel these guys. Could hit him from here with a bunch of assists. Not anymore though. It's gonna need a bunch more assists. And since I didn't get to play that turn, a lot of my guys are going to be caught up by orcs here. Probably the worst start we could have imagined, apart from the ball actually being safe. Put his troll alone, but he knows how to play orcs. He was playing uh, before this game and he was playing another orcs team in the open ladder. He was crushing some Norse that had higher team value than him. And one guy back. That's always a good strategy against quick teams. That means we can't just run someone through here and hope to uh, score. If we get a good turn. Now to hit here we would need lots of players. I think I'm going to focus on dodging more than hitting. But we need the ball now. That's the first priority, I think. So let's try to pick it up. No one there. Three is good enough. Uh, I guess this is as far as we can get. So we go back to here. Then we try to spread these guys out as far as we can make it. Two assists. Hmm. Maybe this is the weak spot. Not very good. If I do that... And then... 
I'd need to uh, to mark this guy to be able to knock him down. Maybe I just do this. And then he can dodge forward. Hmm. Okay, I've used all my time here. And I've messed it up. Oh. Oh, almost. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to use a reroll because I need to get my guys out of contact. Oh, come on. That's too bad. Well, at least we have the ball, but we're gonna take some hits here. Let's hope in armor, I guess. That's uh, three failed dodges out of four so far. You count the reroll as a dodge in itself. As you can see, he's already assisted the troll and he's gonna take this hit, maybe make it a three die. He's keeping his guys together, not running anyone down here or spreading out further than he needs to. We're gonna have to be careful with our rerolls from now on. There's a two die. Okay, well, our armor didn't hold that long. I'm not gonna reroll a knockout on the line then. Can't really afford that. If it was an injury, I would have rerolled it because that would serve to get him back in the second half. Another hit. Another armor break. Uh, maybe this is the guy we want to be all to see. No long term. Hmm. I think we're gonna need it because otherwise, oh, we can get him dead. But I uh, think that wasn't my plan. Uh, I wanted to have him back for the next drive, which now he's ready to go there. But that's our apothecary gone. We don't really have anyone we really need to save. A runner, perhaps, but I'm not too fond of the runner. I probably want to use just the lineman instead. Save some. SP, uh, some team value. Well, I guess there's always the passing play now that we have accuracy. Hey, that's not gonna knock us down. At least he had block. He has this hit, but that's no block. And then he has the troll hit, and that's a hit, and he has mighty blow here. But no armor break, good. Still has a complete line here that he can't get past. But he brought his uh, spare guy forward. Knocks that guy down too. Probably gonna keep him there so he can't dodge away. This guy is now threatening the ball. We have a guy free though. If we stood up here and ran him here, we could hit him, but that wouldn't gain as much. Can do a bunch of dodges. But I'm gonna back off to here. Could go for it to hit us there. Let's go one more. 
Just we're safe from that guy. This guy I will try to screen off with some of the dodge guys when I get them back. Do I want to try to force something forward here? I guess we could try to dodge someone forward. This guy should probably dodge back though. This guy could dodge to here. That wouldn't get me forward. If I did this... I could get a single die on him with block. Ooh, I made it. Okay, let's try this hit. If we can get a push, we can at least dodge through. Push him away. And now I can dodge back here. Okay, that's better. Let's try now to get some guys up. This is kind of important. Yes, we made one. Another. Yes. You should also be back here. Okay, well, I'm not gonna read all that. We have gotten enough of them up. I would have tried something like this for our next dodge. At least we have some guys screening this blitzer off. And the other ones can't really reach us. So he's gonna have to deal with this left. And that starts to spread his team out a bit. We're gonna need it. Seeing how we are 9 against 11 at, at the moment. So two guys brought back to catch that blitzer. That's two guys that aren't chasing us down. He also has four players out on this side. There's only two elves out on that side. So he's probably knocking him down and then bringing this guy over. Two black orcs guarding the loner. I'm fine with that. The troll moves up to base another guy. Probably gonna put guys on these two as well. One guy here sort of protect us from going forward and keeps this these guys. Ooh, okay. All right, he's just shifting position. He's gonna put a black orc back there. I don't know about that. You probably don't want your black orcs to go this far out on one side. So is he blitzing here? He's gonna stand. Yeah, he's gonna blitz this guy. Get him down. And then he can move. He's gonna move up. So he's probably hitting here and getting a guy on him. Ooh, is he actually gonna go for it up there? Yes, okay. Well, we're, we're gonna dodge away from that anyway. Hopefully. Maybe I should have gotten a dodge for him. Okay, he got that hit, and this guy's probably marking him off. So what do we have? We have three guys standing. Four guys standing. All of them marked. Every elf is marked right now. Which is what I thought he'd do. Now, if we dodge away from here, we can't really go far enough that he can't hit us next time. So we're going to have to do something like build a semi-cage or actually try to advance the ball this turn. Hmm don't really like our options here. I ran up here and tried to hand off to him and then brought a guy in to assist. He would swarm us there. But I think this is our best chance. Don't fail any dodges now.
I think we could stand here. Bring this guy back behind this guy in here. And we could possibly blitz there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try it. That's not good. That's not good either. Gonna have to do do a go for it here, I think. Okay, let's bring this guy back to. Oh, I'm gonna have to do more go for it. Need to prevent this guy. Okay, that worked. And then. This. Alright. I guess. You go there. We blitz with you. Single die, but. At least it's something. Hmm. Can't afford to reroll it. Oh. Knocked myself out. Well, this isn't safe at all. He can uh, get in on us, but I couldn't protect both sides with this guy. So at least I'm gonna. You could put him here and then have a blitz from this side. But he can't get a two die on us unless. One, two, three, four. He has to make two go for it with a black one to get a two die on us. And then at least we have the dump off of possibility here. Troll going stupid helps. He's gonna tie everybody up so uh, the catch off the dump off will be worse. I have the loner. Is he making the two go for it with the black orc? He has a reroll, so now he's tying up the loner further. Do we? I think we do want, since he has block, I think we want to use dump off here. I'm gonna try to dump it off to. This guy. Wait a minute. There we go. Wait a minute. I didn't get to dump off? Hmm. I'm not sure exactly how to use that. I should probably have, uh, have, uh, I should have clicked on dump off when it said there, but it looks like I still had a chance to do something there. Well, maybe next time. If we can get the ball again this game. Well, we should get the ball somehow. If our opponent scored, at least. Alright, well this is kind of dangerous. That's good, though. He's gonna be able to move now if he can make a dodge. But the ball is in a terrible spot for us. More pushes. We've had some good luck this game. Just not been able to do anything with it. Because I'm bad at playing Dark Elves. Could get a two die on him if it works. I could have a chance to hit him, but who would pick the ball up? Our uh, runner got stunned, of course. He has seven armor, so he had strip ball as well. So that was uh, definitely where I should have used dump off. Oh, it is my turn. Um. I'm gonna need to cancel him to make that work. 
Uh, let's make this hit first then. Hmm. Not good. We need to push him off him. That means I won't have anyone to pick the ball up with. Or we take a one die on him. This is terrible. Well, we got lucky there. And we got the ball, but we can't do anything with it. So might as well hit this guy then. And now we dodge. Loner's gonna have to stay there. Let's try to get at least one guy in scoring range here. No, we can't afford to reroll that even if we had a reroll available. Well, we might be able to keep him from. Well, I can move him in there though, and he has to single lie with Strip Ball again. Strip Ball's doing stuff for him this game. We would have figured. Everybody who told me to get sure hands, of course. Well, it wasn't strip ball that took the ball from us, though. It was a pal. Well, he has enough players now to be able to cover the backfield. That's an assist, so he's going to have a two die with strip ball and block, so the only thing that doesn't get the ball is a double skull. He's gonna make this hit first. And he can move up here. To tie the rest of us in. Now he's gonna get another plus one. If he had gone up there he would have cancelled these guys and got the two die there anyway. Maybe he doesn't want us to hit back. Knocks him down. He can push this way. Ball's gonna go loose in the middle of his guys. Blackboard don't catch it. Our guy catches it, but he's gonna get hit as well. If this is a push though. We have uh, just managed to luck our way out of this. He rerolls that, and it is a push. Wow. Well, now he's in a little bit of trouble. Maybe it's a little lucky that he didn't move this guy before he made the hit. So he's gonna stand there. We're gonna be surrounded, but we have the ball. Can we get one of these corners off? If we can hit this black orc, it's a simple dodge from there. We can go out here and then punch the black orc from there if he stands up. I think I'm just gonna stand up here. Right, well, we're gonna have to move one guy into assist. The liner. We're gonna have to dodge the lino. Because we need all these three to get a good hit on him. I guess, no, we can't really blitz with him. We need someone over here and we can't get there easily. So, uh, well, nothing to it. And we do that. He's cancelled. We need one guy standing out here. Let's go for it. Uh, who of these do we want to hit with? I guess we do that. One go. And then we hit one dodge. Punch him to here. We're gonna have to read all that double skull. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, damn it. Dodge, 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 or dodge, dodge, dodge. Doesn't really matter. I guess if we do it this way, we can at least... Hey, there we go. Can he reach us now? No. He? No. Well, yes. But he's gonna have to make a dodge. I think we're pretty fine like this. This guy can dodge out and stand over here. This guy can dodge out and mark this lineman. Or not. Well, that's not super important. Well, we used all our rerolls and we got super lucky. I guess that's something. Are we gonna get our first touchdown? He's gonna have to make two go for it to mark us or a dodge to hit us. Dodge and two go for it to hit us. I guess this blitzer could do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. He's also gonna have to make a dodge. I think what you do here is maybe one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna need to as well. So you make two dodges, uh, two uh, go for it with someone. Reroll it. Now you don't have a reroll for the dodge with Blitzer. Move this black orc around to here somewhere, but don't make any go for it with him. And yeah, there we go. And then this Blitzer makes a dodge here and two go for it to hit. Maybe one go for it. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Uh, I would do it with the Blitzer. Actually, no, maybe not. He, this guy has dodge. So it could be a better chance. You don't really benefit from having a tackle. So it's probably better to do it with the thrower who has dodge. I forgot about him having dodge. Definitely want to dodge. That's two dodges. I think he wanted to hit him from there, but he made a dodge, he made one go for it, didn't make the second. So, I don't think we have the luxury of stalling here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need a knockdown, a dodge, or a go for it. The go for it is easier than the. Well, actually, the dodge is the same as the go for it. But if we blitz him, then we might. It's only a 1 in 36 that we fail the blitz, and if we fail. If you only get a push, then we still have the dodge to score. Same as now. So I think that's good. Is there anything else we want to do? We should bring some guys down here. I don't want to do any other dodges, of course. Because that would be counterproductive. So let's blitz here. It is a push. I either make a go for it or a dodge. I think I'm going to make the go for it here. Because... If I drop the ball down here, it's better than dropping it up here. He can still score. Ouch. Well, that's too bad. Hopefully it's not stunned. Uh, well, he's not stunned, but it's actually worse than that. Good thing I moved the other guys. Let's see, the ball goes out. Ooh. Ah, but uh, look, uh, lucky me put this guy here, but he can blitz him. That's too bad. I still think it was worth it though. If we'd stood here, he had two chances to. Well, he could have dodged this guy. He could not reach though. 
this guy could dodge on a 50%er and get a single die on us. Maybe not. Well, considering the result, shouldn't have done it, but I think still it was probably a good call. Close. At least he didn't injure himself. He's gonna have some hits on our runner here. Teach him to level up, right? Seven armor value. Standing in the middle of a pile of orcs. Oh, he's not gonna have many chances to hit our runner. We don't need to pick dodge for him. Somebody said before the game. He has a three die with the troll. He's not going to try to pick that ball up, is he? He could still score, actually, so he might actually do that. Single die him, run the thrower over. Or maybe just dodge out and get it. What can we do? We can run the loner into the end zone and make a dodge, pick up, dodge, throw with this guy. Or one of these guys, probably better. Stand him up. Dodge out here, single die block. Dodge this guy, get the ball. Uh, he's gonna try to knock the lineman down, but he's not. He made it. He would have pushed him there. Make it a little bit harder for him to reach. Mm. Who can score here? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna have to be the lino. Is he blitzing? No, he's already blitzed. He's gonna hit our blitzer into there, probably, and not follow. So, well, this guy is in scoring range. It's kind of tough to get the ball to him, but why not keep him up there? Well, actually, he's gonna bring him down. Thought he was going for touchdowns. Well, not this time, perhaps. So how can we score? This guy is just in range. Nobody else is going to be in range. At all. So the only way we can do this is to run this guy straight into the end zone. Oops. Didn't mean to do it, actually. I was just passing it out. Well, now we have to do it. Uh, then... Can we get a hit in on this guy? make the pickup easier. It would require a 50% dodge. I think we only we need to do it this way. Well I could stand you up I suppose. Not that it's gonna matter. Well, nothing to it. The dodge is good. Pickup's bad. That's it. No score for us on our half. And hopefully he's far enough away that he can't... Oh, he can surf him. It's gonna be two go for it, though. It's just a loner. But it was worth a shot. We had, uh, we had chances there. It's not a terrible pass with the elves. Considering with the start we have there with our first two times basically ended, ending right away. We, uh, we fought uphill the entire half. We have to be lucky on our knockout rolls if we have to, if you're going to have any chance of stopping the orcs from scoring a slow, agonizing drive. We, we're not done being hit this half either. There goes one of our two remaining blitzers. He's knocked down. Good, no armor break. Could stomp on someone here. He has a spare guy. Whoa. 
I ended up needing my extra reroll and probably two or three more than that. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's falling with no, not with him. With the black orc, he's falling with the thrower. That's risky. I'm gonna need him on your next drive, though. If he's sent off, well, he wasn't sent off, but he didn't manage to get us off the field either, so that's good. And then the hit. Take the ball down. No, he takes the push. That's the last thing he could do this half. I believe. Might as well take the ball down there when you have 9 armor and we have 8. And uh, we got two guys back, so we're only down two players. We only down one player. I thought we had uh, someone injured. I reroll that. True. Okay. Well, uh, linemen gonna be linemen. I didn't mean his. Uh, is uh, foul. I meant our half, but I guess his foul could have gone worse as well. Let's have our three blitzers here, protected by linemen. And I guess the runner has to uh, Stay behind as well. Zero SPP, three SPP, one SPP, two SPP, five SPP, one SPP it is. Zero, zero. All right. Uh, I thought I clicked that. Okay, there we go. So, he will probably pick the ball up and keep it in a cage at all times. And we don't really have any means of cage diving to get it. So we're just going to have to hope for an opportunity if he gets a bad turn. not going to give us a blitz opportunity here. Covering both sides. I'm just going to kick it in the middle. Extra reroll for both teams again, so that extra reroll I bought seems to be kind of superfluous. But, uh, well, we might need it if we roll bad dodges, so uh, let's just be happy that we got one. First lineman is knocked out. We have no more uh, apothecary, so we're just gonna have to take whatever we get here. Second lineman is just stunned. Good. Troll can't hit now. Unless he blitzes. Is he gonna foul that uh, loner stunned lineman? Probably not. He could have a 3 die if he moves someone else in here to assist. But he probably wants to put guys up on our lineman here so we have to dodge. Since we've been pro we've proven that we're not very good at it. He's gonna blitz one of them. Third lineman is not even on armor break. Better and better. Only one more lineman uh, left to be hit here. Yeah. 
And he is... Okay. Well, it's gonna be tough to uh, dodge out of this. These two can dodge pretty easily. This guy can dodge. If I could have gotten someone back here though, he hasn't really brought anyone back to take the ball from there. This could have been our chance, but he's sort of uh, covered this up. This guy's probably going up here. Uh, he's going there. Could maybe go this way and get at least one guy down there. Or I could hit this guy and bring someone down there. I could gamble on this dodge, I suppose. He's gonna foul? Probably not. Foul this guy. He's going up there. Is he fouling? No. You don't want to get a guy sent off on this drive, probably. Now, let's see. Does he get the ball back there? No. He failed to pick up. Sure hands. Not very sure. If we were to hit him and then do a single dodge through here, we could put some pressure on this. We should put some pressure on this. This guy has a little bit more movement than most. Do I want to go one way or... Do I want to go right, left, or both sides? I think you go there. We knock this strip ball guy down. Then you go down here. Not much of a threat, I know. At least he's gonna have to spread out. Um, let's hear. Good. Very good. Oh, we failed the dodge. Is that worth a reroll? We have four. I think that's worth a reroll. Oh, we made it. Okay, I don't want to do any go for it now, though. I was kind of planning on doing that. Um. Could get this guy down there as well, but if he brings guys back this way, it's not very good. I could do that. That's good. That's good. Okay, in that case, I want to go down with this guy as well. Should probably spread him a little bit further, and then this guy can dodge out as well. Good. Well, he has a lot of guys to move, but he can't really make a cage from here, I don't think. He has, can go through there, that's a bit of a oversight, I guess. Let's bring this guy back here, you never know, he might be able to move the ball quite far on this next turn. But I'm liking the look of this start we have here. He's gonna have to spread out to tie us up, and then we can dodge someone, we can get an assist on someone else, and perhaps we can cover this distance faster than he can. If he picks the ball up, he's gonna be able to go to around here. He can't get enough players back there, I don't think. Okay, I guess he can get both these guys back here to make a cage. He should have uh, moved this guy one step to the side, force him to blitz there. I guess that wouldn't have been the hardest thing to do.
or I would have liked to make one go for it this guy. It looks like he's tying us up instead of caging. Does he have enough for a s complete screen? That's pretty good. I should have put these guys further apart. One, two, three, four. He can't really get behind us. He can get to there, but he can still dodge this way. And, well, he could with the go for it get there to cover that square, but still opportunity for us. I guess this guy could go up and cover us. At least we're not being hit right now. Protect the ball in case you drop it again. He's probably not moving forward. He's, oh, he's gonna blitz that guy. That's a possibility, I guess. Although, if you were gonna blitz him, then putting two guys next to him might have been a bit premature. Blitz is that guy instead. Um, just a stun. That's kind of annoying. So he can now move out here to block this guy as well. Go for it. Standing there would have been enough, I think. But I guess this is even better. He gets the ball this time. Probably can't advance much further. This guy can get to about here around there now he's gonna stay back now can we get past this now, this looks kind of weak could get back to here this guy could get to here or back here. But if he brings his guys together, then we're spread out. I don't think I can get a hit down there. You can't move very far, so I'm gonna move in to assist this hit. This guy as well, I think. Because he can't move very far. And then I blitz with him and move as far as I can. And this guy could go through to around here without having to dodge. If this is a knockdown, which it might not be, then I dodge him out as well. Try it. It is a knockdown. We don't want to put him there. So let's go that way. And... Let's just cover everywhere so he has nowhere to put this cage. Okay, well, stand there then. Even better. Now uh, you could move, I'm gonna move up here, central and kind of covering this guy. I could have been super aggressive here and actually going for a negative blitz on him. You can go between these guys though, which is not something I like. I'm gonna try one go for it. Now he can't go between them, that means he has to blitz one of them. Probably. I don't want to leave this side completely open, so let's try to bring a guy out there. But that's not worth a reroll, so I'm gonna skip that reroll. Alright. Well, we're spread out, which we like. No orcs are next to us, which we like, except this guy who is down. And since we're spread out, if he wants to cover every elf with tackle cells, he's gonna have to stay spread out. And he can't have more than one or two orcs on each, and that means they can still dodge. But these guys are free. The troll is alone, so he probably hit this guy with someone. Get and move up. He hits our blitzer. Just a push though, that's risky. That's risky, you will have nowhere to put the ball now. 
He kind of needs that to be a knockdown, and it didn't happen. If he had gotten the knockdown there, he could have built a cage out of this. But now... Now where do you go? He's gonna have to go behind here. Probably there. Can he get there? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's, that's as far as he can get. He's gonna throw a pass, maybe? He only has black orcs to receive. This guy could receive, I suppose. And then he could go into a cage of black orcs. But there's still a guy here. If he had knocked him down first, then he could have used this as a receiver. Dangerous. Oh, yeah, the 50% chance on the troll. I was talking about it. He should have hit with black orc, knocked him down, followed up. Oh, and he got a double skull anyway. That's a terrible turn for our opponent. So, what we want to do is. Well, he's uh, covering that spot with his. But the, the, the troll is out of it, so we could actually go this way. Or. Mm, we'd have to do a dodge. Uh, we're gonna have to do a dodge anyway, I guess. I kinda want to get an assist here, dodge him out and hit, and then this guy can pick the ball up. I could dodge out here. That's not the worst. I think I'm just gonna stand this guy up. Keep this black orc locked. This guy being blocked is also pretty good. But let's dodge here. Let you you can go up here and then I can dodge that guy, I suppose. He's free, but we don't need to worry about him right now. But he's too far away, so we dodge him later. Okay, let's go for this then. One dodge. Good. Now we're in the range of it being worth a reroll if we fail this dodge. We don't get him down. I think I'll use a reroll for that. Thank you, we got it. Don't follow that. So we have a moment left to do. Now... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Or we could just go for this. Or we can go for this... And try to stall a turn or two. Yeah, go for that. And then you come down to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2... You come down to here. You can dodge away there and try to hit us. That would be a single die. And if we could bring this guy back here, I think. We have a single die there, the greatest. We could try to dodge this way and get a two die. And then. Oh, turnover. So he's complimenting our dodges. Who would have guessed that after the start we had? Well, that's risky, of course, if you only stay there because we'd surf you. He's gonna activate the troll. Try moving a guy there. Moving some guys up there. Yeah, I think he's gonna try the blitz here, but it's not. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. He could get an assist up there. Kind of a surf risk, but uh, you could blitz him and then tie us up, I suppose. I think we should have an opportunity.
There's a knockout on the troll, from the troll, with the troll, by the troll. So he can have another hit down there. One go. But I have to make the second. You're gonna stay on the sideline? That is so risky. Why not go there? One go for it to get a two die on us. Made the dodge. Got the knockdown. So he could have pushed us into the end zone there. And hope for a scatter. Well, are you gonna go for it to pick that up? Might as well, right? And he got it. Well, that means we can't blitz this guy, I guess. Do anything else. Gets the hit down there. So we're gonna have to make two dodges to get a hit on him. Actually, we only have to make one. And hit with the guy who's down, which is better because he has block. And then I think we will try to score unless we get super good here and still have our reroll. So let's try to dodge this guy I suppose. Good. And we're gonna have to do this. I would like to blitz him but we can't afford to we need to get the ball. That's not gonna get us the ball and neither is that. So, let us hmm. put a guy out here, put a guy here and a guy here well, this is gonna be tough uh, do I want to dodge this guy first I don't know this guy's more important I think let's tie this blitzer up hey look at those dodges and now you can just dodge out, I suppose. And loner. Get up there. Look at those dodges. See, when the dodges work, you can do a lot of things with the dark of team. When they don't work, you're just... pathetic. So... How do you get out of this? Bring in an assist to get him away from the sideline. That's gonna tie up two of your close by orcs. A pass? Oh really? Well he has the reroll. That's gonna be tough. He has a free reroll for the pass itself. should bring these guys down before he does anything that requires rerolls. We'll need those two. Maybe one of these could be the receiver. That's a better receiver than the one we aimed for first. If he wants to make that pass. Yes, you should not roll any die rolls until you brought these guys down. And some more of these as well, probably. They're not doing much up here. Well, if you can make that pass, you can make a cage up there, I guess, and then we'd be... Well, he would win. But, uh, 
I think at least one or two of these guys. Oh, he's gonna make two go for it and a blitz before anything else. Just a push. At least it's not a turnover. And now he uh, destroyed his assist for this hit, so now that's a single die. Otherwise, it would be a single die surf attempt for us. Mark him, knock him down, pass to here. Get a guy next to a troll, like this guy. Troll can move. Now you knock this guy down. And then you try to pass one of these blitzers. Oh, he's gonna take the one die to free himself from the sideline there. Got the how? Oh, that was the five he needed to make this pass. Tie up. Oh, he dodged out to tie one guy up to get a single die. And it's a turnover. And a knockdown. The ball goes loose. All we would need is a push if we blitz. Don't have block there, but we can't get an assist if we want to use this guy. Because every other spot is occupied by the ball or his players. So we're gonna be a we're gonna have to be a blitz. We can go a little bit more central, but I kinda want him back there. I don't want to make it in dodges. Could stand up here. I guess that's good in case we fail. And then it is this push here we need. Just a push. I'm gonna have to read all that. Well, that's better than a push. So I will follow. <laughs> And one SVP lineman, zero SVP blitzer. The blitzer is a better target. Do we want to move anybody? Well, let's try to pick that ball up. Yes. Okay. Well, we can't. We can't stall here. We have to score because his uh, thrower can get back up and hit us again. Hey, we scored a touchdown. First touchdown in the league, I believe, unless we scored one in the last game against the Rats. I can't remember. I think we lost that one 2 or 3-0 though. And two more knockouts back. So, uh, looking pretty good. He has three turns to score an equalizer. Same guys on the line. We do have one more blitzer back, but we have one less... ...less uh, lineman. So I guess we do this. One of the blitzers is going to have to... To uh, protect the others, one with the least SPP, and confirm. Now he's gonna have to be a lot more aggressive this half, uh, this time. Well, not that he wasn't aggressive the first time, but the, uh, the good kick actually made it so. And his failed pickup created all that pressure we were able to do. If it's a shorter kick, and we can't put that much pressure. So definitely, yeah, this this might be uh, might have been a better plan for the first time to put three guys back there and just put enough on the line to hit us and cover the blitz. But uh, well, this time he's gonna have to advance fast. That's one of his guys. It's a knockout. Hey, we knocked out an orc. What do you mean it wasn't us that did it? Of course that was us. Oh, he gets a touchback. So now he can put it on a blitzer far forward. Probably that guy. Yep. Alright. Well, since he put these guys back here, they can't actually form a cage now. But he can definitely get to somewhere around here. The Black Orc or two. He takes the hits this way, he can free up two black orcs. He's gonna take him the other way. Get more hits in. 
getting some SPP. There's one lineman down. First one didn't go down. The second one is sturdy enough. Good work on this lineman. He almost scored a touchdown in the first half as well. And that's worse though. Injury on Franker is easy, easy. No long term. That's nice. Two SPP on his black orc and that he's happy with that. And troll. Hit us. He has two rerolls. We have zero. So we're gonna have to stay safe here. Not overcommit. He can take some risks. He would love to have a goblin to throw here, I suppose. I'm gonna put the ball there. So it's gonna have to be pretty much full movement two turns now to score with that blitzer. Handing off to a black orc is not gonna help. Heading off to this blitzer could be worth it. So gonna have to try to cover these three. And the others are just gonna file back there. We're not gonna try to threaten the ball. He needs to go for it there, but as I mentioned, we're not going in the, on the ball carrier anyway. I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna put guys in front here. Stupidity on the troll. Not that much of a concern. And you can hit him with a black hook anyway. Ball's down? No. Push. Okay. I guess we would have been free to move if he had taken both down, but if he's gonna push us like that, we're still free to move. Oh, he's tying us up. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry about that situation. All we have to worry about is make sure that he can't run around us or through us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. We can have. I think we're gonna put the good old elf screen in action. I'm gonna have a blitzer in front here, I guess. I'm not gonna blitz anybody either. Maybe I should blitz up here, I guess. But let's get... Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can't quite get back there. I could get him back there, though. This is a bit risky. We roll double skulls there. He would have been in trouble. Yeah. I can go through there. I'm gonna have to go there. And put this guy forward one. That way he can't go through here. And we could dodge this guy as close and make it safer. Alright, that's as safe as I can make it. He doesn't have the movement to go around this way. He needs to try and go forward now. At least bring someone forward who can receive the ball. And even if he blitzes one guy down, he's gonna have to dodge at least twice to get through. That was the whole idea behind this double, double uh, screen with and the movement. If you look from his point of view, as you can see, the tackle zones are double all the way here. So if he knocks one of them down, there's still going to be single tackle zones left. I guess his best bet is to blitz this guy, get him out of the way, and then dodge someone through there, and then 167 dodge. 183. Actually, that's a 50 and a 67 for him. Get one guy, or maybe more, through there to have them uh, able to receive a pass. 
And that's exactly what he's doing. Gets the knockdown on our blitzer. It's a stun. Now, does he go for it straight away here? Oh, he has to. Well, he could go with the ball carrier, I suppose. Put the guy there. And then try to get the ball carrier through here. And then just try to... To... Uh, mark as many elves as possible. We still have the loner and this guy he's not going to be able to mark without this uh, dangerous dodge. Actually you can mark him from there now that I look at it. So put a guy up there. Move this black orcs up I guess. Not that they matter. And then try this dodge and hope that we fail our dodge out to hit him. Or that we fail our single die with the loner, which are probably worse. But 50% into 67. It's only a 1 in 3 that he gets to. Whichever way he wants to do that. Can move the black forks first, though. They don't. Doesn't cost him anything. Here we go. 50%. He fell. He has a reroll. Which he has to use, otherwise, the game's over for him. He made a 50%. Now it's only a 67. Really, he's not gonna make that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2. I guess he can make it on the next turn. Since he's used his reroll, I guess it's gonna save the rest for the next turn. Alright. Well, we have a 8 in 9 to push him away to get this guy in there. Should definitely start removing this guy in there. If we knock him down, he's done for. This is the only guy in scoring range. He might be able to push someone else forward. So, do we take... I think we take this hit here. Because then our block will help us against him to get the push. And block wouldn't help us here anyway. Good thing we did. Okay, his leg, leg is fine. I asked about his leg. He's, he had a broken leg. He told another opponent on the message board. But, okay, there we go. Well, Black Orc almost caught it. Uh, I guess go there. We try to pick it up on this guy. First I'm gonna put the guy in scoring range. There he goes. Do I need to do anything else? I would kind of would like to be avoid being hit here. 50% pickup. Negative die. Can't make it a one die. Knock him onto the ball. Well, we knock him down. At least that makes the pick up easier. We failed it. Uh, I mean, uh, we uh, managed to get it to the loner. And we have plenty of opportunity to get it to this guy. Who is not in range, but one go for it away. Might as well not do that since we had more to do on this turn. Well, looks like we got get our first earned win here. I'm happy about that. Since our Dodges has been pretty good after the start of the game, we've been able to, to make this half happen here. That's not going to put an assist on the troll. Could have put him there. Oh, he has the chain push option here. Does he have the option to chain push someone into range? I think he can chain push this guy into range, actually, yes. If he hadn't gone down there. Well, he can blitz from here. 
But he needs to blitz the ball carrier, of course. Otherwise, he's not scoring. Yeah, there's there's no way now. Push the ball carrier this way. Push him there. Push him there. No, that won't work. He would go out there, or at least there. He gets that punch. And it's a stun. I am taking a few hits here. He can now get a single die or a two die on the ball carrier. No, he can't. He's used his blitz. So, that leaves us with... Handoff. Run up, pass, score. So, I would like to get this guy off. I can't blitz with him. If I push him this way, it's pretty bad. So I guess I blitz with him here. Push him to there. Or not. Alright. Well, we'll take a one nothing victory any day of the week. And we roll the six as well. Really good. I'm not gonna re-roll the six. Not often do you do that. We can uh, recruit this lineman, but he is not a Twitch emote, and he's also got no SPP. So no, we will turn him down. We got a level up for Frank or ZZZ, who is only badly hurt, and he got a black orc level up, which is also good. One armor break. I uh, refrained from uh, taking many hits there. 19 blocks. I think that's how you're supposed to play Black Elves. Black Elves, Dark Elves. If you're not... Uh, ...leveled up and have a bunch of block on them. Uh, right, right, he took 51 block, only got... ...12 armor breaks. That's pretty good. Uh, I validate, and uh, it's waiting confirmation, so we can't look at our SPPs right now. But I will do that before the next game, and my next game will be against... Here we are, we see the Bretts have won again against the Lizard guy, who we lost against, and the Orcs lost against. This is the Chaos team against the Rats this week. And these, these are the other orcs that I got a buy against. And ectothermic blues. Uh, I don't remember. Humans, maybe. Oh, it's confirmed now. Ectothermic blues. They're lizards. Okay, they're the other lizard team, of course. But uh, we're catching up a bit. Now we're gonna have another lineman. Probably dodge, but I'll wait until I see my next matchup, which was against. I never checked, did I? We are playing the Brets next week, and the Brets have one tackler, one uh, extra reroll. In addition to their two, so they're gonna have three rerolls. And strength on a blocker, that's pretty nice. And look at that, a level three lineman. 17 SPP. He is dirty player wrestle and uh, fend, of course. But no extra players, we can't really utilize that dirty player. He has some money though. 
Yeah, he could pick up another peasant. And then uh, use this Fowler. Although, you also got another level on him, so he's a little bit more valuable. One tackle. Maybe we should pick up Dodge then. One four strength. Maybe we should pick up Dauntless. Block. Hmm. Well, if we roll a double, we could pick up a guard. Let's let's check first. Cause actually no, let's not check because uh, our opponent has some money he could spend. So I don't want to show him what we roll for our level up. He's gonna know that we have a level up available, but I'm not gonna show him if we have a strength up or an agility up or something that would perhaps change the game too much. So we will wait until the game starts until we do that. But we have some money, we could pick up our third reroll as well. I might do that. We will see again. If I want an extra player or if I want a witch or if I want a witch could be good. They don't have any frenzy They don't have any force strength. One tackler, of course, can hit the witch. Could be good to pick up a witch now, but the third reroll really helped in that game. Well, I'll have to make that decision later, because I don't want to uh, show my hand to my opponent before the actual game. You have to take every advantage you get when you're playing leagues. league play. Oh well, that's it for this game. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you're happy about the fact that I managed to win a game. We're now 2-2, two and two. but uh, that was the first one was a free one, so 1-2 and two we could call it. And uh, yeah, this uh, the next game will be in a week or so. Until then, please check out my other YouTube series. I have uh, two teams I play in the open ladder. The one orc team that is pretty high level, about 2k team value, and a new, a fresh Brett team that's been developing pretty nicely to start off. But uh, we're playing a little bit silly with them, so do check that out if you want to. Until next time, though, uh, I'll see you then and take care.